Hi, my name is Paul Edward Solon. I am a PhD student at ETH Zurich and will now present our paper Superglue Learning Feature Matching with Graph Neural Networks. This work was carried out at Magic Leap as my master's thesis in collaboration with Daniel Dutton, Tomasz Malisevich, and Andrew Rabinovich. Matching local features is a critical step in numerous 3D geometry tasks, such as 3D reconstruction, visual localization, SLAM, and place recognition. By improving the matching performance, we can positively impact all of these tasks. Superglue is a deep neural network that performs feature matching. It combines the best of two worlds, deep learning with graph neural networks and classical optimization with optimal transport. Superglue is a middle end that estimates matches between local features in two images, wide rejecting and matched points. As you can see here, it can successfully match image pairs with extreme baseline in real time. This results in state-of-the-art pose estimation with both classical and learned features. SLAM typically decomposes the problem into the front end and the back end. The former extracts features from streams of data, such as images, for which convolutional neural networks are very effective. It then computes constraints by data association, matching the features, while the back end estimates the poses and the 3D structure from these observations. With Superglue, we learn to do the data association. We introduce a new middle end that performs 2D to 2D feature matching between the front end and the back end. Let's first look at the typical two view matching pipeline. Key points are first detected in each image independently and corresponding descriptors are extracted. These can be done with classical methods like SIFT or learned ones like SuperPoint. These features are always matched by lookup of nearest neighbors in the descriptor space, which is naive and often prone to failure. Incorrect matches are then filtered with heuristics like the ratio test or recently with deep network classifiers that operate on sets. Finally, a relative pose is computed by a robust estimator like RENSEC. In contrast, our superglue jointly performs context aggregation, feature matching, and filtering in a single unified architecture trained end-to-end. -end. The ability to leverage global context is critical in situations that exhibit little texture or extreme self-similarities. In this checkerboard example, local descriptors are not sufficient to correctly match most corners why knowledge of nearby or distinctive objects can disambiguate all difficult corners. Our deep matcher takes as input local features extracted from two images, and each composed of key point coordinates, confidence, and a visual descriptor. Each key point can be matched at most once, and some will be unmatched due to occlusion and failure of a detector so we seek to output a soft, partial assignment matrix. Superglue is composed of two blocks. First, a graph neural network processes the appearances and positions of two sets of local features with powerful attention mechanisms. It encodes contextual cues and priors into deep features and reasons about the underlying 3D scene. These features define the cost of a partial assignment problem, which is solved with a synchron algorithm in a differentiable manner. This produces the desired partial assignment, thus enforcing domain-specific constraints. Let's look at the architecture in more details. We first combine the local visual appearance and the position into an initial representation using a multi-layer perceptron. For each key point, this representation is iteratively updated using information from other key points, either in the same image or in the other image. 
we can see the two sets of key points as nodes of a complete graph with two types of edges, self edges and cross edges. We thus use a kind of graph neural network called a message passing neural network. At each layer, the state of each key point is updated using a message computed from the self or the cross edges. For a given layer, the aggregation along these edges is performed using self or cross attention. This is akin to a similar to a soft database retrieval of values corresponding to entries with keys similar to a given query. It is implemented as the weighted average of the values, with the weights being the similarity between query and keys. For queries, keys and values are computed from the current state of the key points via linear projections. Since the state encodes both the appearance and the position, a key point can query its spatial neighbors, self-similarities or other salient key points anywhere in the image. Self-attention aggregates information from key points in the same image. It can, for example, attend to distinctive key points to disambiguate self-similarities. Cross-attention enables inter-image communication, attending, for example, to candidate matches. Together, they define a soft graph that is data-dependent, sparse, and interpretable. The final states are called matching descriptors and the dot product defines a score matrix representing the affinity between key points in the two images. Because of occlusion and noise, some key points cannot be matched. We add a dust bin by augmenting the score matrix with a row and column with constant value, the dust bin score. The score matrix is the cost of an assignment problem solved with a Syncorn algorithm, which iteratively normalizes along the rows and columns and is differentiable and GPU friendly. This results in a soft partial assignment from which correspondences can be extracted. Superglue is trained end-to-end -end in a supervised manner by maximizing the likelihood of ground truth correspondences, which are extracted from ground truth poses and depth maps. We train and deploy Superglue in indoor scenes with superpoint local features. Our deep network consistently predicts more correct matches in green and fewer mismatches in red than existing classical and learned approaches. We also train superglue for outdoor scenes by leveraging large scale structure for motion reconstructions. We observe the same striking superiority to classical and learned baselines. One can also visualize the attention weights at the different layers, making superglue interpretable. The flexibility of the attention mechanism enables a wide diversity of patterns from global context to local neighborhoods. We evaluate relative pose estimation with different local features, SIFT in blue and SuperPoint in red. We report the accuracy of a pose computed by essential matrix estimation and RANSAC. Superglue consistently yields large improvements over classical heuristics and recent deep networks for both indoor and outdoor environments. Superglue generalizes well to different cameras, motions and environments. It has earned the first place in three CVPR competitions on image matching and indoor-outdoor visual localization with a single trained model. You can see on the left an outdoor night query successfully localized against the daytime map. On the right is an example of indoor localization with little texture. We thus believe that Superglue is a major milestone towards end-to-end -end deep slam and structure for motion. Please check our paper for more results, visualizations, and a deeper understanding of its inner working. Try it yourself with our pre-trained models available on GitHub. Run our demo on your data at more than 15 frames per second and add some superglue to your image matching pipeline. Thank you.